All right, y'all. If For those of y'all that's been following or hearing me speak about the woman's body who was missing, but they had already arrested the man for the murder, her daughter will be able to put her mother to rest. They found her body last night. And it was kind of close to that bridge. My sister said that there was a foul odor from. Good morning. We begin with an update on breaking news we have been following all morning. Pensacola police now confirming a body found in Escambia County, Alabama last night is that of a Pensacola murder victim. Channel 3's Olivia Iverson joins us live near Flomington with what we know about the investigation so far. Good morning. I'm standing right off of Highway 113. This is a few miles north of Flomaton. And the Escambia County Sheriff's Office here in Alabama says a driver was going along this road last night, pulled over to go to the bathroom, and saw a body right over here in the woods. Now, investigators say they later identified that body as missing Pensacola woman Latanya Baxter. Pensacola police tell us this all happened around 6 o'clock. You're looking at some images after investigators arrived on scene and blocked off this section of the woods here. Now, this discovery comes over two weeks after D Baxter's daughter first reported her missing. Search crews had looked for her body in Century, the Brat area, and even under a bridge in Flomaton during that time with no luck. A few days after her disappearance, Pensacola police arrested Baxter's roommate, Giles Jones. They charged him with her murder. PPD tells us they believed she wasn't alive because they found a picture of her dead body on Jones's phone. An arrest report says uh, investigators also found blood in her bedroom, the back door to their house, as well as in the trunk of Jones's car. The Escambia County Sheriff's Office in Alabama tells us they transported that body to the Department of Forensic Science in Mobile. Meanwhile, Giles Jones is scheduled to appear in court next week. Near Flomaton, Olivia Iverson, Channel 3 News. This is a photograph of her. That's the man that was arrested for her murder. But at least now her daughter can put her to rest. Like I said, this happened September the 11th. 